If you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 or an S2 and a Samsung Smart TV, you can wirelessly stream content from your phone to your TV with a little effort. It's the Samsung All Share Play app that lets you do this and a lot more, but today I'll just show you how to stream music, videos, and photos from your phone to your TV. First, make sure your phone and your TV are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then, launch the All Share Play app on your phone. You'll be asked to either create an account or sign in. If you create an account when you set up your TV, just use that account, or if not, set up a username and password. Back on your TV, launch the Smart Hub. Then, head on over to the All Share Play app, which is already pre-installed. Now, log in by hitting the A button on your remote and use the same username and password you set up just a minute ago. Hit login and you should end up at this screen. Now if you go down to a tab like videos, you should see your phone over here on the right. But if you don't, and it looks like this, you'll need to change a setting on your phone. So go to settings, more settings, nearby devices, and check file sharing. Now you should see your phone show up. Now that you're connected, there are two ways to stream content. The first is by exploring the content on your phone from the All Share Play app. So for example, I can go to the Photos tab, select my phone, and my gallery will show up over here on the left. So as you can see, it's pretty fast, and you can even browse photos full screen by selecting them and then just clicking through. And if you hit this tools button on your remote, you'll have even more options like starting a slideshow or changing the size of the photos. Also check out music. Go down to music, select my phone, and all my tracks will show up. So I'll just pick one, hit play, and it'll start playing through your TV. Also, if you want more options like choosing from a playlist, don't forget about that tools button. So that's one way to stream content. The other is by browsing through media on your phone and then sending them to your TV. In this case, you don't even need to be in the app to make it happen. It'll just interrupt the show and play it, which is awesome and annoying all at the same time. Here's how it works. Find the song or the video you want to play on your phone, play it, and you'll see this icon show up. It shows up next to anything that can be beamed to your TV. If you don't see the icon, hit the menu button and select scan for nearby devices. Once it scans, then you should see that icon show up. Tap it and your media will be beamed to your TV. Here's how it works with photos. Find the photo you want to beam, select it, and tap that icon. And when you zoom in and out on your phone, it'll do the same thing on screen. Pretty awesome. Now, if you don't have a Samsung Smart TV and you still want these features, check out the All Share Cast dongle. It basically adds a lot of the same functionality to your TV. I also mentioned that All Share lets you do a lot more than just beam content to your TV. It's a full DLNA hub, so try it for sharing content between your PC, phone, tablet, and your TV. All right, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter and check out the full written guide to this tutorial on howto.cnet.com. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vaknin.